I'm going to show you what I do with young children to teach them and talk about ways that animals move. First of all, we look at animals and like a bird, it's always best to use something that they have. And if you really have an animal that has the parts of, a, of an animal, it's really great. But I don't, so I have some just little things that I have some from the classroom, some around the house. So we first talk about how birds move with their wings and the children will imitate how a, a bird moves. And then we have fish and we talk about how a fish moves in the water and, and they kind of imitate a fish. Then we have animals that basically walk, and then we talk about um, who else walks. We walk, and so we talk about the parts of the animal that do walk, and then we have animals that run. They run really fast, and we look at the body parts of the animal um, that help them run very fast. So then we kind of mix them up, and then I have the children put them in categories, and I would go, okay, show me the ones that fly. And so they would put all the birds in a category, and I have a chicken here, and then I say, show me the animals that run very fast. So I put a tiger and a horse. I say, show me the ones that swim with their fins, and they put the fish, or their other ones like whales and dolphins, and they put that in a category. And then lastly, the ones that walk, and we have the, some farm animals, and hopefully we would have a person, a, a person in there too, showing you know, that people walk as well, but they also run. So then we go outside and we see if we can find other animals outside. We look at books and look at, find pictures of other animals that walk, swim, run, or um, fly, so that they know that there are four different ways that, you know, that animals move.